Oh.
Let us start with long chanting. Take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation. With the next exhalation, let us start long chanting. योगे न चित्तस्य पदे न वाचं मलं शरीरस्य च वैद्यके न योपाकरोत्तम प्रवरं मुनीनां पतंजलिं प्राणजलिरानतोस्मि गुरुर्ब्रह्मं गुरुर्विष्णुः गुरुदेवो महेश्वरः Guru Saksha Param Brahma Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Sada Shiva Samaram Bham Shankaracharya Madhyamam Asmadacharya Paryantam Vande Guru Param Param Om Namah Pranavathaya Shuddha Gnanaika Murtaye Nirmalaya Prashantaya Dakshinamurtaye Namaham Mokam Karoti Vachalam Pangum Langhayate Girim Yadkripa Tamaham Vande Paramananda Madhavam Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahavijyam karavavahai Tejasvina vadhi tamastuma vidvishavahai Om shanti 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 Harihi om shri gurbhyo namaha Harihi om Teshima Okay, so let us start with Kapal Gauti practice. <clears throat> Relax the breath. You can start when you are ready.
<clears throat> may relax. Let's go to the second row. Interlock your fingers, turn the palms up. Relax the breath. Take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation. Let us start when you are ready. Relax. <clears throat> now then third round, third, third round, palms on the shoulder blades, <clears throat> relax the breath. Let us start when you are ready. Relax. <clears throat> So let's practice one more round. Thumbs in the armpits. Arms, palms parallel to the ground. And relax the shoulders. Relax the breath. <clears throat> so let us start when you are in.
Get relaxed. <clears throat> Okay, so let's practice. Um, let's start the asana practice. <clears throat> Inhaling, bring the arms on either side. Stretch the arms, stretch the fingers. Take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation. Exhaling, bring the arms down. Inhale. Exhaling, bring the arms forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhaling, bring the right arm. Keep the arms at 180 degrees. Look at your left arm. Look at your right arm. Inhale, exhale. And change. Go to the other side. Inhale. Exhale. And release. One more time. Inhaling, bring the arms up. Interlock your fingers. Turn the palms up. Elongate this spine. Stretch. Stretch a little bit more. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, exhaling, bend to the other side. And release. <clears throat> now practice the, practice rotating the arms. Inhale, exhale. And reverse. And release. Bring your shoulders up, in, out, down, up, in. Um, now, let's practice chest rotation. Inhale, exhale. And reverse. And release. Practice wrist bending. And release. <clears throat> Make a fist and rotate. And reverse. And release. Now practice the shoulder rotations. Inhale, stretch. Exhale.
and I'm so in here exhale. And bring the arms. Inhale, exhale. And rotate. And reverse. And release. Bring your shoulders up, in, out, down. Engage the shoulder blades. Be gentle. And they count. Squeeze the bell. And release. <clears throat> Let's practice gentle neck rotations. Inhale, in the Exhale, gentle the chest. And turn the head from side to side. Inhale, exhale to one side. Inhale, exhale to the other side. And drop the right ear to the right shoulder, left ear to the left shoulder. And release. Bring the palms to the back of your head. Bring chin to the chest. Gently hold. Look up. Now practice the gentle neck rotations. Inhale, exhale. Now the full rotation, if you can. Inhale, exhale. And reverse. And now let's practice hand clenching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And bring the arms forward. And bring the arms And release. 
Shake your arms. And rotate the shoulders in between. And reverse. And release. Now bring the left arm all the way to the right. Keep it straight and your shoulder level. Look at. Turn your head to the left. And change. And release. <clears throat> okay, so now take away the blanket. Bend your knees. Keep the knees together. Drop the knees to the right. Turn the head to the left. Knees to the left. Turn the head side to side. And separate the feet, right knee to the left, left knee to the right. And release. Now stretch your legs, bend your toes. Point and flex, point. And rotate the ankles. And reverse. And release. Now raise your right leg. Insert the right arm. Only if you can. So if you cannot do it, just gently hold the leg. Massage the right foot. Feel the foot between the toes, upper part of the foot, middle part of the foot, lower part. Massage. And rotate the foot. <laughs> and reverse. And move the leg from side to side. And practice the half butterfly. Inhale, exhale, be gentle. And this final twist. Continue to focus on your breath. And release. Change. Go to the other side. Raise the left leg. Massage the left foot. And 
We have sciatica or lower back issues, avoid this. And the button. And this spinal case. And release. Now press the right heel on the left foot. Bring the feet down on the left side. And change. And release. Now, if you can, gently practice the butterfly. And hold the spring the knees down. And release. Okay, so now you may lie down on the mat, relax, lie down on the back, relax. Inhaling, bring the arms beyond the head. Feel that slight stretch in the lower back. Exhaling arms back to the board. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees, drop the knees to the right, turn the head to the left, knees to the left, turn the head to the right, side to side. And release. Now you may shift over to your abdomen. Put your forehead down, extend your arms, relax the back. Do not put the chin down, put the forehead down and practice Dirgishwasana. Four seconds, inhale, eight, exhale. 
When you inhale, notice how the abdomen is pushing the mat. When you exhale, see how the abdomen is relieving. Interlock your fingers, place the palms behind the head, hold them, stay there for 10 breaths. and release and practice the Matsukridas. and change. And come back. Now practice the Makarasana. Mentally scan the lower back and be gentle with your neck.
and release. Relax on your cheek. Now come to change pose, put your head down and relax. Now practice the cat and dog stretch. Press the palms on the palms below the shoulders. Knees under the hips. Push the abdomen down. Look up. Push the navel down. Exhale. Round the back. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the right leg to the left side, right foot to the left, turn the head to the right, hold it. And change. And come back, sit on the hips, relax. Now come back to all fours, stretch the right leg and extend your left arm, reach as if you are reaching for an object, stretch, stretch. And change. And a few more times. Reach, stretch, left side. Keep going. Now. Raise the right leg, flex the right foot. Inhale, exhaling, bring the knee to the chin. And change. Come back and relax. Stretch your stretch your back. Bring the chest closer to the back. And sit down the hips.
Now come to downward dog. Bring one heel down at a time. Be gentle with your ankles. Raise the right leg. Stretch. Bring the right knee forward. Again, go back. Inhale. Exhale. And change. And walk forward. Stand up. Get ready for standing poses. Rotate the hips. And yours. And bring the palms to the lower back, middle back, upper back. And practice the Tadasana. Press the feet completely on the ground. Tighten all the muscles. Stretch, stretch. Now the rotation. Bend to the right. Drop the right arm. Bring the left arm over. And change. Drop the left arm, bring the right arm up. And practice the rotation. And reverse. And reverse. Okay, so let's practice Surya Namaskar. Come to the front of the mat. Om Mitra Yanamaha Om Ravaye Namaha Om Surya Yanamaha Om Bhanave Namaha 
पुष्ट पेलविस फॉरवर्ड होता ओम खगाय नमः ओम पुष्ट नमः ओम हिरण्य गर्भाय नमः ओम अरिचय नमः ओम अरिचय नमः ओम अरिचय नमः ओम आदित्याय नमः ओम सवित्र नमः ओम अर्काय नमः ओम भास्कराय नमः रिलैक्स ओम मित्राय नमः ओम रवय नमः ओम सूर्याय नमः ओम भानवय नमः ओम खगाय नमः ओम पोषण नमः ओम हिरण्य गर्भाय नमः ओम अरिचय नमः ओम अरिष्याय नमः कुछ तलिस फॉर और लेता स्ट्रेच ओम सावित्र नमः ओम अर्काय नमः ओम भास्कराय नमः रिलैक्स ओम मित्राय नमः ओम रवय नमः ओम सूर्याय नमः ओम भानवय नमः एंड कर्ल द टॉस फुट एंड पुश द पेलविस फॉरवर्ड फील द स्ट्रेच हियर ओम खगाय नमः ओम पोषण नमः ओम हिरण्य गर्भाय नमः ओम अरिचय नमः ओम आदित्याय नमः ओम सवित्र नमः ओम अर्काय नमः ओम भास्कराय नमः रिलैक्स लेफ्ट साइड and make sure you are synchronizing the breath all the time otherwise it becomes a mere exercise the prana doesn't move om mitraya namaha om ravaye namaha om suryaya namaha om bhanave namaha ओम खगाय नमः ओम पोषणे नमः ओम हिरण्य गर्भाय नमः ओम मरीचय नमः ओम आदित्याय नमः ओम सवित्रे नमः ओम अर्काय नमः ओम भास्कराय नमः रिलैक्स सी इफ यू प्रैक्टिस जेंटली एवरीवन कैन प्रैक्टिस दिस नो प्रॉब्लम बट बी वेरी जेंटल स्पेशली अंटिल यू वार्म अप डोंट गो टू एक्सट्रीम फ्लेक्शन और एक्सट्रीम फॉरवर्ड बेंड्स ओम मित्राय नमः ओम रवय नमः ओम सूर्याय नमः ओम भानवे नमः ओम खगाय नमः ओम पू 
ಪುಷ್ಣೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಧಿರಂಗ ಗರ್ಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಅರೀಚಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಆದಿತ್ಯಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಾವಿತ್ರೆ ನಮಃ ಓಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಭಾಸ್ಕರಾಯ ನಮಃ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಓಂ ಮಿತ್ರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ರಮಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸೂರ್ಯಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಭಾನವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಖಗಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಪೋಷ್ಣೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಧಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಅರೀಚಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಆದಿತ್ಯಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಾವಿತ್ರೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಅರ್ಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಭಾಸ್ಕರಾಯ ನಮಃ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಓಂ ಮಿತ್ರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ರವಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸೂರ್ಯಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಭಾನವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಖಗಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಪೋಷ್ಣೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಮರೀಚಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಆದಿತ್ಯಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಾವಿತ್ರೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಅರ್ಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಭಾಸ್ಕರಾಯ ನಮಃ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಓಂ ಮಿತ್ರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ರವಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸೂರ್ಯಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಭಾನವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಖಗಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಪೋಷ್ಣೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಮರೀಚಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಆದಿತ್ಯಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಾವಿತ್ರೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಅಕ್ಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಭಾಸ್ಕರಾಯ ನಮಃ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ do not go to the next round until your breath is completely relaxed om mitraya namaha om ravaye namaha om suryaya namaha om bhanave namaha om khagaya namaha om poshne namaha ಓಂ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸ್ಟೆರ್ ಓಂ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಮರೀಚಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಮರೀಚಯ ನಮಃ ಮರೀಚಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಆದಿತ್ಯಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಾವಿತ್ರೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಅರ್ಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಭಾಸ್ಕರಾಯ ನಮಃ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್
लेफ्ट साइड ओम मित्राय नम ओम रवे नम ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवे नम ओम खगाय नम ओम पोषणे नम ओम हिण्य गर्भाय नम ओम हिण्य गर्भाय नम ओम हिण्य गर्भाय नम ओम मरीचय नम ओम मरीचय नम ओम मरीचय नम ओम आदिताय नम ओम सावित्रे नम ओम अर्काय नम ओम भास्कराय नम रिलैक्स टेक अ फ्यू डीप ब्रेथ्स ओम मित्राय नम ओम रवय नम ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवे नम ओम खगाय नम ओम पोषण नम सिटन दीस रिलैक्स ओम हिण्य गर्भाय नम ओम मरीचय नम ओम आदिताय नम बेंड एट द राइट नी सेंड इट टू द सीली ओम सवित्रे नम ओम अर्काय नम ओम भास्कराय नम रिलैक्स लेफ्ट साइड ओम मित्राय नम ओम रवय नम ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवे नम ओम खगाय नम ओ पोषणे नम सिट ऑन दिल्स रिलैक्स ओम हिण्य गर्भाय नम ओम आदिताय नम ओम सवित्रे नम ओम अर्काय नम ओम भास्कराय नम सिट ऑन दिल्स रिलैक्स सिट इन चेल्स फोर्स and lie down on your back keep a strap ready strap on the block
relax in Shavasana. Now, inhale means bring the arms beyond the head. Point your feet. Exhaling, push the heels back. Feel the stretch in the upper back. Point the feet. Create a stretch in the lower back. Create a gap between spine and the back. Exhale. Push the heels back. One last time. Point the feet. And push the heels back. Release. Relax. Bend your knees, drop the knees from side to side. Now stretch the left leg, hold the right knee, rotate the right knee and right hip. And reverse. And practice the apanasana. Bring the right knee into the chest. Hold there. Inhale. Exhaling, raise the chin very gently. Now place the right foot on the left side. Extend your right arm. Bring the knee down on the left side. Hold it. And release. Change. Straighten the right leg. Hold the left knee. Rotate the left knee and left hip. And reverse. Now bring the left knee into the chest. Upon us. Exhale. And place the left foot on the right. Extend your left arm. Bring the knee down on the right side. Hold it. Release. Now bring both the knees into the chest. Exhale. Inhale. Gentle practice. And raise your chin hold there if you can. Release. Rotate the knees and hips, give a massage to the back. 
and reverse. And release. Now practice the Pada Angustasana. Start with the right side. and bring the right foot all the way to the right. If necessary, keep a block on the right side. Both the shoulders on the ground. Turn your head to the left, hold there. And bring the right foot all the way to the left. Be gentle. If you and hold as long as you are comfortable. Turn the head to the right. Right shoulder on the floor. Left shoulder on the floor. Hold it. And release. Change. Go to the other side. And bring the left foot all the way to the left. Extend your right arm, hold it. And change left foot all the way to the right. Extend your left arm. Hold it.
and release. And relax. Now bend your knees, raise your hips, come into your bridge pose, gentle bridge. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. This time, straighten the right leg. Come back. Inhale, straighten the left leg. And release. Mace into the chest. Give a massage to the back. And reverse. So now let's practice bridge pose using the block. Keep a block under the lower back. And release. Now practice the fewer leg grips. Place the palms under the hips. Point the feet. Push the heels back. Inhaling, raise the feet to 90 degrees. Do not raise the hips. Exhale. Continue. Relax. Now raise the right leg. Raise the left leg. And now, rotate the right leg. Make large circles, as large as possible. Inhale, exhale. And reverse. And release. Change. Make sure that your breath is relaxed. It's up to you how much to, how long to relax, but do not strain. And reverse. And release. 
Now, raise both the feet. Open the feet at the top. Join them at the bottom. Continue. And reverse. And release. Now you may bend the knees, raise the abdomen, do not raise the hips, create a gap between spine and the mat, raise, raise, raise the chest, exhale, enclose the gap, squeeze the abdomen, continue. And release. Now drop the knees to the left side. Stay there. Extend your right arm. Left arm on the right. Now straighten the right leg. And change. Drop the knees to the right side. Straighten the left leg. And release. Okay, so now shift over to your abdomen. Put your chin down. Make a fist, bring it under the ground. If you practice shalvasana, keep the chin on the floor. Do not raise the chin. Raise higher. And release. Sit on the hips, relax. Okay, so now let's practice inversions and then we'll practice some pranayas. Practice headstand or shoulder stand or both.
Let's get ready for pranayams. Battery is ninety percent connected to LG on L pad two. Sit on the blanket. Let's practice the Gashwasam. So maybe we'll practice three part breathing once so that you are all. Familiar. So place your right palm on the lower abdomen and inhale and exhale, engaging only the lower part to the extent possible. And silent breath. And release. Now the ribcage. Engage the ribcage. Only the ribcage to the extent possible. And practice deep breathing. And relax. Now the chest. So engage the thoracic region, the chest. And release. So the prana that operates in the Below the navel is called apana. It is divided into five sections. Apana. So apana moves here. Responsible for excretion. And then the prana that moves here is called prana. So now when you are inhaling, let's practice inhalation and visualize the apana moving towards the prana. Place the palm on the lower abdomen. Inhale, silent breath, deep breathing. Engaging the lower abdomen, ribcage, chest, and beyond. Apana is moving to the prana. The shloka is apana jukpati prana. And prana towards the apana. Silent breath. And gradual breathing. Do not force the breath too much. Again, in here. Exhale. And relax. So this is called three-part breathing. Now let's practice applying the locks. See, one more thing. Place your palm on the abdomen. Notice what is happening. If you are breathing the right way, when you inhale, the abdomen should come out. When you exhale, it should go out. Practice this a few times. Inhale, abdomen is pushed out. Exhale, abdomen going inside. Continue. Now completely exhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. 
squeeze the abdomen and bring chin to the chest. Jalandar Bandha. Squeeze the abdomen. Udhyana Bandha. Squeeze the bottom muscles around the anus. Squeeze, squeeze. Hold the breath. And release. So this is called Mahabandha. That means we are applying Jalandarabandha. Sit chin to the chest. So this prevents the nectar falling from the Bindu Chakra into the Jatraga. And squeezing the abdomen pushes the prana towards the Muladhar Chakra into Sushumanad. Then when you close the bottom muscles, the apana and prana come together. Jalandar Vanda, Vidyana Vanda, Mola Vanda. Okay? Very good. So now, we will practice their Krishnasana. That means three-part breathing. In, in, exhalation is double the inhalation. Inhalation, you are taking more prana. Exhalation, you are throwing away all the tensions, all the worries, relaxing the body, relaxing the mind. So let's practice their Gishwasam. And if you are a beginner, if you cannot practice higher ratios, practice 5 and 10. 5 seconds inhale, 10 exhale. If you want, you can keep your palm and practice initially. Completely silent breath. Let's practice silent breath. So when the breath is deeper, it becomes silent. If you are making noise, that means the breath is still shallow. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Do this with awareness. When you inhale, notice how the abdomen is expanding. When you exhale, notice how it is going in. in. Hmm? So, you are, so observe that part. 6 and 12. Only if you can. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Relax the breath. Take a few normal breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. So what happens as you exhale deeper, the inflation becomes deeper. So when you, if you have headache, or any mental agitation, tension, practice their Krishnasana. Simple practice. And stay in your capacity. You don't have to do long ratios. Even three and six is fine. And it will immensely relax you. Then practice your Nagra. Seven and fourteen. As if you are sipping prana through a straw. Silent breath. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. And while exhaling, the, the breath should not cross to omelas from the nose. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Now, 8 times 16. Or do what you can without strength. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. So experience the pranamaya kosha. So feel that tingling feeling in the arms. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. No, nine and eighteen. So how are we doing it? As if you are sipping through a straw, silent breath, and prana. The outside it is called air. No, vayu. Inside it is called prana. So we are taking the prana inside and deep breathing. 9 and 18. And keep any mudra you like, which prevents the leakage of... Relax the and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Relax. Bring your total awareness to the body. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. And 10 and 20, the last ratio, two breaths in a minute. Quite relaxing. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out.
Well done. And question. Where is the prana moving? It's not in the abdomen. It's moving along the spinal cord. So imagine Gedan, Pengula, nostril, left nostril, nitral, right and right nostril to be two, like two tubes going around the spine, spinal cord. So the Sushumanadi goes along the spinal cord. So there is a straight line. When you are sitting straight, your spine exactly goes through the middle of the body. And imagine that is a straight line and around the straight line, there is a loop, right side and left side. And all those three, if you were to drill a hole here, the Yeda, Pengula and Sushunvara meet behind the Agni Chakra. So that's the, that's the anatomy. So you have to visualize this. You have to keep on visualizing this. Then the prana moves in the right direction. Okay, so now we will practice Antar Kumbhaka. That means we are inhaling the, we are inhaling, filling the abdomen with prana, with air. Then you are holding the breath. It's because your abdomen is full, you can't pull the abdomen inside. So therefore, when you, in, during Antar Kumbhaka, apply two locks, chin to the chest, squeeze these muscles, right? That also helps you to relieve any back pain and it uh, um, relaxes the prostate for men and also it strengthens the lower back. So put some effort. Molavanda is not easy because we have to squeeze, we have to pull the pelvic region. So let us try that. Antar Kumbhaka with two locks. Jalandar Bandha, Molavanda, no Vidyana Bandha. Okay. And make a come to Vishnu Mudra. Bend index and relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Thumb on the right nostril. Start exhaling through left silent breath. Breathe in. Left. Hold. Two locks. Breathe out. Right. Breathe in. Right. Hold. Two locks. Breathe out. Left. Well done. Relax. A round trip. Left to right. Right to left. Meeting at the eyebrow. So, so now two rounds. I will be silent so that you can do some practice. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Well done. One more round. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Mm. 
Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. So now we'll practice Bakhya Pumbaka. Same practice, but you are holding the breath after exhalation. So after exhalation, what happens? Abdomen is empty. So you can apply all the three locks. Um, where should be your focus? Visualizing the prana getting pushed into Sushan Manadi, into the spinal cord. So, Bakhya Kumbha. Relax the breath. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Relax the cheeks. Relax the whole facial muscles. Start exhaling to the left. Breathe in. Left. Breathe out. Hold. Three locks. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Second round. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Relax. Well done. And one more round. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax. Now, when you combine these two, that becomes the traditional pranayam, Nadi Shodhan pranayam, which is very good for the neurological system and also to keep our balance between right, right brain and left brain. And it also relaxes your mind. That means stopping the thoughts, the mental chatter, all the anxiety, all that star stops when you practice pranayams. So let's practice Nadi Shodhan Pranayam, combining Antar Kumbhaka, Bhakti Kumbhaka. But you got you are going to hold the breath both after inhalation and exhalation. And we will practice holding five seconds. Five, five, ten, five.
Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Relax. Breathe out. Hold. Relax. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Three rounds is okay. We don't have time. Three rounds with proper ratios. Five, five, ten, five. So let's practice third round. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax. Now we we'll practice Brahmari. So Brahmari, Brahmari Pranayam is very good for improving neuron communication. And also people with vertigo, they can practice Brahmari. Brahmari is making a Omkara song and we are going to we are withdraw the senses. That means closing the ears, eyes and mouth. Keep the mouth closed and while exhaling make a humming song, Omkara song. Five to seven rounds without strain. Inhale. Mm. 
Massage your head. Massage the head. And on the sides, give a nice massage. Pull your ear lobes. Cheeks. And relax. Okay, so now we'll practice yoga nidra. This combined with yoga nidra will immensely relax you. Let's practice yoga nidra. Relax. Switch off the lights, lie down on the mat. Relax and show us now. So yoga nidra is a practice of relaxation that takes you deep into a psychic sleep. That means you're not actually sleeping, you are between waking and sleeping. So probably a dreamy state. And if you follow the instructions that I'm going to give you, if you follow them, uh, follow me along, then you will find that most relaxing for you. So keeping the palms facing the ceiling, natural curve of the fingers, make sure your, your eyes are closed, allow the feet to fall to the sides, and then begin to feel the body as it lies on the floor, Feel the meeting points of the body and the floor. Under the shoulders, under the elbows, wherever they touch the floor, under the palms, under the hips, under the knees, and under the heels, and also under the head. 
Now, fill all those meeting points once again and see how your body is sinking into the floor more and more nicely. As the body sinks into the floor, you are also feeling the heaviness of the body increasing. Now bring your attention to the chest area. From the chest, as you close your eyes, feel the space from the chest to the ceiling. Just feel it. Create a feeling of the space. Now, from the right side of your body, feel the space to the wall on the right. Now do the same with your left side, from the left side of the body to the wall on the left. Now bring your attention to the top of the head and feel the space from that spot to the wall behind and beyond your head. Now feel the space from the soles of your feet to the wall in front of the feet. Now feel the space once more under the body. How the body is grounded to the floor and your body is absolutely still and comfortably still. The word comfort is important in relaxation. If you're comfortable, you can continue. If you're not comfortable, you have to move until you are comfortable. So any change in position you can do now, but try not to keep moving. Try to be still. Only in stillness, you get a deep relaxation. Now bring your attention to each part of the body by bringing the consciousness to the right hand thumb. Your mind is moving to the thumb, but the thumb is not moving. You're bringing awareness to the thumb. Second finger, it goes very quickly now. Second finger, the third finger, the fourth finger, and the fifth finger, the front of the palm, back of the palm, and the elbow, the right shoulder, and the waist, the right hip, the right thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, the right big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your right arm and the whole of your right leg, the whole of your right side and feel it is becoming heavier and with that heaviness you're also relaxing even more. Do the same with your left side, left hand thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth, front of the palm, back of the palm, wrist, elbow, shoulder, armpit, waist, left hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, left big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your left side once again, making sure it is heavier and also relaxing. Now, attention on both arms and both legs. Both arms and both legs, heavier than before. And as a result, you're also feeling a deeper relaxation. Bring your attention now to your lower back, middle back, and upper back. 
and begin to soften the entire spine with your thoughts. Bring your attention to the back of the neck and soften the back of the neck. Continue with the back of the head also relaxing and the top of the head. Now come to the top of the head. Feel a sensation there. Feel the forehead and the space between the eyebrows. The space between the eyebrows is a very important center of energy. It's called the eye of Shiva, the third eye of Shiva. Continue down to the eyes, the right eye, the left eye, the right ear, the left ear, the right nostril, the left nostril, and the right cheek, the left cheek. So your mind is moving to all these parts quickly. Now feel the upper lip and the lower lip and also the chin, front of the neck, chest, abdomen, internal organs. Feel the internal organs also. Now begin to scan your body from the head to the toes. Develop a homogeneous awareness of the whole body. Become aware of the space occupied by the body. Become aware of the whole body and the floor. The whole body in relation to the floor. At the same time, become aware of the meeting points of the body and the floor. These are very subtle physical points between the body and the floor. Feel the meeting points between the back of your head and the floor, shoulder blades and the floor, elbows and the floor, back of the hands and the floor, buttocks and the floor, the calves and the floor, the heels and the floor. Do not sleep. Switch your attention now to the eyelids. Feel the narrow line of meeting between the upper and lower eyelids. Feel the sharp points where they meet. Intensify your awareness between the eyelids. Now the lips. Center your attention on the line between the lips. The space between the lips. From the lips, we go to the breath. Draw your attention to the natural ingoing and outgoing breath. Feel the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. On inhalation, it rises from the navel to the throat. On exhalation, it descends from the throat to the navel. Be completely aware of the respiration. Navel to throat, throat to navel. Do not try to force the breath. Just bring awareness to the breath. Now maintaining your awareness, start counting your breaths beginning from number 10, first exhalation number 10, 
second exhalation number nine, continue until one. Now you may stop counting. So let's come back to the body. Awaken the feeling of heaviness in the body. The feeling of heaviness in every single part of the body. You are, fe you are feeling so heavy that you are sinking into the floor. Awareness of heaviness, awareness of heaviness. Now, let us reverse the whole scene. Awaken the feeling of lightness, the weightlessness. Feel completely weightless in your body in all parts of the body, your body feels like a piece of cotton, so very weightless. Awareness of lightness. Now begin to awaken the sensation of heat. Awaken the experience of heat in the body. The whole body, you feel it is hot. The whole body is hot. You feel hot all over. Recollect the feeling of heat when you are out in the sun with no shade, heat all over the body. Awareness of heat. Now once again, change and feel the experience of cold. Awaken the experience of bitter cold in the body. Imagine you're walking on a cold floor in winter. Your feet feel very cold. You feel cold all over. Awareness of coldness. Completely cold. Bitter cold. Now bring your awareness to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. The dark space that you see in front of your closed eyes. Actually, this space can also be visualized in front of the forehead. So if you want to explore it a little, you can shift your gaze to the forehead. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Do not become involved. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. If any subtle phenomena manifests, for example, colors, 
or patterns, simply take note of these and continue with your awareness. If thoughts begin to happen, let them come and go, but continue watching the dark space in the forehead. Continue this with detached awareness. Very slowly now become aware of your breathing. Become aware of your natural breathing. Become aware of your relaxation. Feel your normal breath. Gradually develop awareness of your physical existence. Become aware of your arms and legs and your body lying stretched out on the floor. Become aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. Once again, gradually develop awareness of the room. Without opening the eyes, feel the colors of the walls the ceiling, and then open your ears to any noises in the room and the noises outside. Externalize your mind, take your mind out at this point, but do not open your eyes until I tell you become completely external, lie quietly for a few moments, keep your eyes closed, gradually when you are sure that you are wide awake, Take a deep breath, inhale, and a long exhale. And after that, begin to bend your legs, shift over to the right side, and then bundle up into the child's pose. Become cozy, casual, and comfortable. May gently press your left palm and sit up. So we'll conclude with Om chanting, soft chanting. Om. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu 
ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಸಮ್ವೇರ್ 